so far, I haven't had too many run-ins with authority. I mean, quite how that's happened running my YouTube channel, I don't know, because I have been questioning a lot of things, as you'll no doubt be aware. However, I do think that when authority does come along and, you know, you see this person, this legal fiction, if you like, in their legal fiction outfit, their costume, whether that's, I don't know, a traffic warden or a policeman, or these days even a doctor, somebody who's playing the role of something in our lives. And we go along with it, don't we? We go, oh yes, this is a, an a figure of authority and, and we, must, we must adhere to what they say. Well, must we? I made a video the other day saying that don't give them the power, don't acquiesce. We are in control of ourselves. However, it is worth remembering that the, the, the human within that legal fiction that they're pretending to be a, an authoritative figure, whether that's a judge or a solicitor or a policeman or, or, or even a bailiff come to that matter. And you might think, blimey, you know, are these people real? Do they, do they come from another planet? Are they just some, I don't know, dreamt up thing that like to be a job's worth and all of that? Oh no, I'm, I've got to protect my job. I've got to behave this way. I like to say to them, I like to say to them things that will remind them that they are like us, that they are human. After all, they will all have parents and some of them may have children and some of them may have brothers and sisters. So, you know, when you see that policeman and he's banging on the door and he says, right, come on here, I want to have a word with you, say to them things like, how's your mother? Just remind them that they are human, that they are part of us, that actually they are being controlled by those people above. They may not realise this and they may go, well, <laughs> my mother's got nothing to do with you. But it's reminding these people, actually, take away that costume and you're naked. Just if I take my clothes off, I'm naked too. If you're a man, and a proper biological man, that is, you'll have a dingly dangly, just as I have a dingly dangly. Now your dingly dangly might be a bit longer, or it might be a bit shorter uh, than my dingly dangly, but it'll be a dingly dangly nonetheless, and it'll have the same basic function. When your bladder is full, you'll run up to the little boy's room and you'll still have to empty it using your little dingly dangly. And if you sort of get a bit amorous with the member of, well, maybe the same or even the opposite these days, who knows, you may find your dingly dangly doesn't dangle quite as much. It may have, you know, got a little bit more rigid, let's say. But it operates in pretty much the same way. What I'm saying is, in a very crude and basic way, is you are actually of the same stuff. In here, you may have been indoctrinated to think that you are the uniform or the costume that you're wearing. But actually, you still have come from a mother and a father, and you may have siblings, you may have brothers and sisters, you may have aunts and uncles, you may have an extended family, and you may, at the end of the day, do all of this because you want to earn some cash money to, to pay your way in the world. And so these authority figures who come over and they seem officious and say, well, I'm going to take your car away if you don't pay this. They are human like you and I. They have a spirit. They have a soul. They may be misguided, and that is one of the problems with these people, of course. They may be, as I say, groomed, misguided and following instructions. But they are working for a dead corporation. They are the only people that can make a dead corporation in its own sort of weird way live and breathe. Because a dead corporation, or any corporation, isn't living and breathing. It's just there on paper. It's there in a building. This building belongs to this corporation, which is a non-entity. It's just nothing. We, we make them live by believing in them, by giving them the power. And these representatives who are in the employ of this 
dead corporation, whether that's the council, whether that's the government, whether that's the police station, whatever it is, they are, they, the people dressed in the uniform that go about, then they're underneath, they're naked like you and I. They, they're the people that make it work. And if they take off their uniform and they walk away from it, these dead corporations cannot do anything. It's only the people who are employed by them that actually make them live and breathe, as I say. And so I like to remind these people, if it's somebody just looking up at my car and they're coming along as I've parked and they're going, oh, I'm not sure you should park here. I will say the good morning. How are you? You're looking nice. I love the way your hair's uh, combed. Uh, how's your mum? How's your brother? We need to remind them, actually, you are people. You're not an autonomous being out there to try and get money out of us like all corporations are destined to do. We just want your money. We want your servitude. You are below us. No, no, no. You're equal to us and we are equal to you. You've got a mother and a father. You've got a sister. How are they? Are they all right? You're looking a bit peaky. Do you need to sit down? Have a sit down. You're looking radiant. How, how wonderful. Oh, look at that smile that's now suddenly across your face. Blimey, you're a real person, aren't you? Underneath that ridiculous outfit you're wearing, you're a real person. You have the same worries and concerns that I have. You want the world to be a better place, don't you? Because when you're not prancing up and down the road, putting tickets on cars or arresting people for going two miles an hour uh, over the speed limit, you actually also want to go down to the pub and have a good sing song with the lads, don't you? Or the lasses. You also want to have a bit of fun and, and hold your child in your arms and look at its laugh. You're human like us. We're all a very big family on this planet. We don't need to be officious and mean and forget who we are. We don't really need to have these corporations that are dead entities. So I would say, and just remind you, everybody out there, that dressed up in these outfits, these people, they may appear to be, I don't know, neuters, if you like, you know, people uh, or machines, neutral type of machines who have no emotion. And they, that's been bred out of them. But we need to remind, because we need them on our side. We do need them on our side. We need them to join humanity again. Because in order to eradicate these strange weirdos who seem to think that they're in charge, who fly around in their private jets and meet at places like Davos and, and decide our future. They're not going to decide our future, thank you very much. They may want to and let them, let them want to, but they're not actually going to because the new world has started. The new world is here and the new world is looking for humanity, is looking for those people in those uniforms who think they're part of the old system and saying, how's your mum? How's your dad? How you doing? Are you all right? Come and join us. We are real people. We're living and breathing people. We have a spirit. We have morals. We like to do the right thing. We like to help people, not hinder them, not charge them, not make out there's a bill for you and pay us, because it doesn't go to the person who's dishing it out. It goes to their masters, who at the end of the day don't give a fig about those people in the uniform actually dishing it out. Of course they don't. No, so how are you, mate? You're right. Come and have a sit down. Oh, no, I, I can't. Yes, you can. Just for five minutes. Here, have a piece of chocolate. I know it's a bit fattening. Have a fag. Go on. I know it's not good for you, but we're... Go on, have a, have a little snifter of this. Become a member of humanity again. That's all I'm saying. We need these people on our side because... Those are the people who are building the prisons. Those are the people who are doing their bidding. They can't do their bidding if they're not on their side and they're on ours.